Let's talk about Ford and their LFP batteries. So Ford this week shared that they are on course to begin producing LFP batteries here in the U.S. starting next year, which will be a huge, big, massive deal for their upcoming cheaper EV models. Ford initially announced this factory roughly two years ago and has invested $3 billion into the plant. Ford is licensing LFP tech from China's CATL, but Ford is quick to point out to you that they are responsible for all manufacturing in this situation. Mm -hmm. Ford expects this factory to add around 35 gigawatt hours of LFP battery capacity. The factory will employ roughly 1,700 people. Ford is expecting this LFP plant to be the secret sauce behind their upcoming cheaper vehicles. Ford has also stated that their new low-cost EV platform will support eight different body styles that include truck, crossovers, sedans, etc. Their first EV on this platform is expected to be a truck, and it is expected to be a similar size to the existing Ford Ranger. So this is cool. You know, mm -hmm. happy to see that we might actually be finally getting some onshore LFP battery pack manufacturing um, so that maybe we can start. Because, I mean, LFPs are really seem to be kind of, you know, every cheap EV is using an LFP pack. Like, they're cheaper or whatever. Curr only reason we're not doing it currently is because of importing from China is expensive, especially now with tariffs and whatnot. And it's like, if we can start building them here, 